I am very briefly going to cover what Perplexity AI is, and then we're going to use it to spot some trends alongside some tools you already use, like Google Trends. And if you hang on to the very end, I'll show you how to see what social platforms these trends are sparking up on. So Perplexity AI is a large language model that focuses on sourcing better data. And quoting them directly, they note that freshness or the recency of the data and hallucinations are the two biggest problems with large language models. So they built their large language model around pulling data from sources like Reddit, YouTube, Google search, and academic publishers. And what this means is we can use Perplexity to actually find recent data. Now, a quick side note is that in this study, they compared themselves to ChatGPT and Llama from Facebook. Facebook. And basically what this graph shows is that they have more recent data. But weirdly enough, they also rank themselves least helpful compared to all these other language models, which is a pretty weird thing to add to your own study. But whatever the case, let's get into finding some trends. So just like we are using perplexity to find and source information on trends, we are going to use Boodle for stacking bots together so we can quickly and easily break down that information. So I'm just going to start here by going over to bots and clicking on perplexity. This will add it to my chat. And I'm going to start with some brainstorming here. Help me find social media trends in 2024. What topics are trending? What topics are most popular? And what is the fastest rising? Start with that. All right, now we got a list of topics here. Let's just quickly go through them. So we got AR, short form video, disappearing content. That's kind of intriguing. Sustainable and ethical branding, live stream shopping. Uh, let's zoom into voiced optimized content. Can you give me a list of companies building AI voice tools? Great, now we got a short list here. I'd like a little bit more information and data around this list. So can you list 15 AI voice generation tools with their URL and social handles? Great, now I'm gonna narrow this list down to so remove any tools that don't specifically generate AI voices. Okay, so now we got our list from least to most popular here. Uh, we got some very specific AI voice generation tools like 11 Labs. Uh, Murph, so we had a bit of a challenge when we we're actually recording this video, and that was that these LLMs can't really connect to any sources like Google Trends. And I was kind of shocked to learn that Llama 3 can't connect to Facebook data. So our approach is going to be this. We found some high level topics on AI voice generation. And what we're going to do is we're going to use an online researcher bot in Boodle to generate keywords around each of those brands. And then we're going to take those keywords and pop them into Google Trends to see which are actually trending the most. And then finally, we're going to add a free Chrome extension to Google Trends. And what this is going to do is it's going to allow us to see which platforms these topics or these companies are actually trending on. So if we were to go to create uh, some content around Murph, for example, this would t tell us specifically what platform we should be posting on. To start, let's add that researcher. I'm just going to go down here and hit the X on perplexity and type in online researcher. First thing that comes up at the top, chat with the online researcher. And this is going to take in the context from the prompt for that above that we just had with perplexity and ask our online researcher, can you give me a list of three keywords users might search when looking for each of the companies on this list? Only give me keywords for the top five. All right, perfect. Now we'll use this information in Google Trends. I'll just pop up here. And I'm going to start by putting all the company names in. We're going to do worldwide uh, past year. All right, so here we go. We got everything plugged in. Here's all the company names. Uh, we can see there's a big difference between Resemble and Well Said Labs between these top three. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to eliminate these two and add a few more of the company names that were in our longer list from before. All right, so now we've got all the most popular ones in here and we can see that 11 labs really is running away from the competition in terms of search. And just in the last few weeks, uh, it's getting close to hitting an all time high. 
where things like Speechify is actually losing search intent. So now I'm gonna go back to Boodlebox here and what I'm trying to do here is figure out what is also trending with 11 Labs right now. I'm going to ask, can you give me a list of five keywords users might search for when looking for 11 Labs? And now here we have a list of terms that we can use alongside 11 Labs to see what's actually gonna be the best type of content cre to create. So I'm gonna pop back here and use the same method as we did with figuring out what companies are most popular. I'm gonna add those keywords all in here. All right, here we are. We've got all those five keywords in the top of Google Trends here. Um, and we can see yet again, there is one term that is outranking all of the other terms, which is AI voice generator. So now we've got a company to target, we've got a topic to target, and now we're getting in the weeds of what's actually trending underneath these subjects. So I'm gonna go over to Glimpse. This is a tool that you can be used on top of Google Trends, and I just added the Chrome extension up here. Uh, I'm gonna go back to Google Trends and pop in 11 Labs, which is the company topic. So we are looking at um, worldwide the last 12 months on 11 Labs. And if you scroll down here, you can see that like Google Trends is modified by Glimpse. Now we're specifically looking at uh, Google at the moment, but if we scroll down and look to the right, we can see that almost all the content on this topic is created on TikTok, YouTube, LinkedIn, and Instagram. And so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go back up to channel and look at TikTok. All right, I don't know what a lot of these mean, but doesn't really matter at this point. All I'm gonna do is download this in a CSV and I'm gonna go back up to the top and type in our other item here, which is AI voice generator. And I'm gonna do the same process here. So we can see we're at an all time high. I am gonna scroll down. For this case, most content is on YouTube, LinkedIn, and then TikTok. So instead of choosing TikTok, I'm gonna choose YouTube. And uh, I can see we got a whole list of things to talk about here. So I'm just going to download this to a CSV as well. So last and final step here, we know what terms are trending. We know where they're trending because we looked at what channel they were on. And very likely you might wanna to go to create some content around this. And the best way we can do that is just to go back to Boodlebox here, go to the same prompt thread that we had open from earlier. I'm going to add the two files we just created, upload them, and then I'm gonna to go to add a YouTube content, content creator here and ask, based on the keyword research and the attached documents, could you help me brainstorm a content idea for 11 labs? All right, and here's what we got. So creating realistic voiceovers for your YouTube videos using 11 Labs and AI voice generation. In this video, you could introduce the concept, showcase 11 Labs as a powerful solution, demonstrate that 11 Labs has the ability to do this, and then discuss what are the actual applications. And this is actually quite a good little summary for a piece of content we could create for YouTube. Um, if I was to go to create this specific piece of content, I would go a little bit more in detail on what was discovered with Glimpse and maybe focus on something very specific like a question or an attribute. With that, I hope this video was helpful about searching for trending topics, whether you use AI specifically to find those trends or in tandem with other tools. Feel free to check out the prompt thread that we created in this video in the comments. And thanks for watching.